What's up, everybody? Um, Battlefront CJ here, playing some original Pac-Man. I'm just gonna turn the game volume down really quick. I haven't played uh, original Pac-Man in a while, so I thought I would do a quick little video. I'm not doing any Battlefront videos as a video that was mentioned previously. This is gonna be a short little Pac-Man video. I have only three lives. Pac-Man Slow is the patience mode. This is the get as many uh, points as you can without dying. What I've noticed about playing Pac-Man is, uh, especially on MAME, there's a lot of frame dips. Alright. I messed up there. I'm kind of in a rush today. One of my friends that I do this program game you with, um, he is, uh, coming, coming to, um, coming to get, uh, coming to get me, saying we're going to Yesterkays, but, um, trying to get as high as possible, if you will. My score goal today is, uh, 50,000 points. Which should be achievable since it is Pac-Man fast and uh, Pac-Man fast, it's easier to get everything. I mean, this is kind of the uh, first retro arcade game I kind of played. I actually don't remember how I got into this, but when I was a kid, all these games were popular, and I apologize, I don't know why there's frame dips. I'm mean, gonna play original Pac Man for one purpose. There's a lot of frame dips. Get the fruit here. I know emulation is not perfect, obviously, but Pac-Man should be perfect. Yes. At this point, I'm just trying to complete the maze without dying and everything. When I first played this, my mic, my Pac-Man's all about coordination. And as soon as I say that, I die. Well, that's the first death, so... It's not too bad. Pac-Man is all about patience. I know that over the years, but... I start off with, um... The slow version first, and then my friend Scott had a... Pac-Man machine in his basement, and he uh, had the fast version on it. I think I got to like the Galaxian once, but no further. A couple arcade experts, well, I'm not, uh, they're not my friends, but they're people that I've met before. Uh, Billy Mitchell, um, arcade legend, Richie Knuckles, a guy that don't 
Mop Pup people know about. People don't know about Richie Knuckles. People don't, you know, associate him with retro video games. All right, so I need 10,000 points to reach my goal. It's a lofty goal, I guess, but. What I've noticed is that the maximum points you can get per round is, uh, is 10,000, oh no, uh, come on, let's go. There we are. Let's go. The reason I've been playing Pac-Man at night is I just haven't had any real, like, reason to. Now, Yes Arcades in Somerville, the place we're going to today, has console games. Oh, I hit my goal. There's a PS2 with uh, Battlefront, the first uh, Battlefront on it. I remember I went here and I went there and I played it. That was the first time. Uh, really, I played it on console in a long time. But, I mean, Battlefront, I mean, okay, Battlefront 2004, I mean, that game is good. But, I play it all the time, I stream it all the time, there was always frame drops. Always. And the game looks smoothly to, to me, but when I get out to you guys, I should be considering myself, I mean, YouTube's just a hobby, there, I do have... A few fans, but I'm not stopping YouTube. I, uh. Alright, let's go. I remember one game I played. I died. Sometimes I just really focused. And that's. But I'm not a, a gamer that's going to sit here and be like, Oh, I'm going to set the high score on Pac-Man. No, I don't. I just play until I die. Oh, you're trying to set records. Oh, okay. Like, first, one, I don't have the patience. And two, I don't want to sit three hours recording, recording a game like Pac-Man. You know. Okay. Or it's 11, it's 10.57. I mean, I'm at the point where, you know, I like Super Pac-Man more. I mean, maybe because it's a better game. I, I want to get on to some Miss Pac-Man. If I can. Alright. This is the bell. I did that on purpose. I don't really care right now. I'm just trying to get this game done. There we go. Alright, so I got 79 uh, point uh, 79 uh, 79,530. Uh, 79, so this is it. Bye.